Biden and Hannity's America, Vice President Joe Biden doesn't always have a command of the facts. And last night on Larry King, he was at it again. Now take a look at who he credits for turning around the situation in Iraq. I am very optimistic about, uh, about Iraq. I think it's going to be one of the great achievements of this administration. All right, so President Barack Obama deserves credit for stabilizing the security situation in Iraq. Now, is this the same Barack Obama who opposed the troop surge in 2007? My assessment is that the surge has not worked and we will not see a different report eight weeks from now. I am going to actively oppose the president's proposal. I am not persuaded that 20,000 additional troops in Iraq uh, is going to solve the sectarian violence there. In fact, I think it will do the reverse. Not only uh, have we not seen improvements, but we're actually worsening uh, potentially a situation there. We don't need more spin about the surge that was supposed to get the Iraqis to step up. We don't need more leaders who just see what they want to see in Iraq. It's time to recognize where we are in Iraq. All right, now where would Iraq be if President George W. Bush listened to Senator Obama? Now that's a question that I think Joe Biden would have a very tough time answering. Now, forget about the war on terror. The Obama administration has more pressing matters than what's on its plate. Now, in addition to the White House's war on climate change, its war on Wall Street, First Lady Michelle Obama is declaring war on childhood obesity, and she's doing so because pizza and french fries and milkshakes and the like pose a national security threat. That's right, America. According to the First Lady's office, she says, quote, the epidemic also impacts the nation's security as obesity is now one of the most common disqualifiers of military service. Now, I think the First Lady's efforts are admirable. I just wish the administration would show the same determination in fighting the real war on terror. Now, earlier this week, we told you about a speech in which the president eulogized a woman who he said wanted to be buried in an Obama t-shirt. Uh, here is how he described her situation. I got a note uh, today from one of my staff. They forwarded it to me from a, a woman in St. Louis who had been part of our campaign, very active, who had passed away from breast cancer. Um, she didn't have insurance. She couldn't afford it, and she insisted she's going to be buried in, uh, in an Obama t-shirt. Well, not exactly. As it turns out, the woman whose name is Melanie Schaus did have insurance. Now, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch describes how Schaus went into debt in order to put $30,000 into her business. Now, she also skimped on health care. She opted out of routine exams and chose a catastrophic policy with a $5,000 deductible. And here's how Schaus herself described it back in 2009. I put off and put off and put off getting preventative services and medical screenings and treatments and eventually I was forced to go in uh, after uh, several years of realizing that there was something wrong and uh, I had delayed treatment for, for several years and eventually uh, in October of 2005 I went straight to Siteman Cancer Center and was diagnosed with breast cancer that had already advanced to stage four. I am fortunate that I have the great public health programs, Medicare and Medicaid, uh, which are paying for a portion of that chemotherapy because otherwise I don't know exactly what I would do. Now, Schaus's uh, situation is quite unfortunate, as is her death at 41. That's a tragedy. But the fact that the president presented about her case in this situation, that is simply wrong. And finally tonight, change is sweeping through Los Angeles, an anti-development group. The Trust for Public Land is planning to cover the iconic Hollywood sign with one that reads, Save the Peak. Now the group is raising money in order to purchase the mountaintop property around the sign and protect it from development. Now the sign will be covered for five days and the group says they're hoping to remind people that, quote, the backdrop is part of the iconic nature of the sign. And they don't want any movie star mansions ruining that backdrop. And in case you're wondering, the value of that land has dropped quite a bit during the current economic downturn, and the trust for public land is hoping to snag it for $5.2 million. I'd rather see more houses. And that is the news tonight from Hannity's America. And coming up, have you always.